plugged back in. Correct. Let me go ahead and power on. If you can see there, get different values there. Get the U for a second, that's back to whatever it's doing. And this is the screen output I'm getting. So it's a, well, at least the CRT is working. So I wonder if there's something up with a horizontal or vertical trace. The LED stay on, nothing really goes past there. There's, that just stays the same. Now, in regards to electrolytics, I almost wonder if some of these were replaced. You can kind of see the reflection, the zoom's not so good here, where it almost looks like they may have been replaced already on here. And hopefully they're in the right direction, and none of them were burnt out when resoldering. So we see here, the touch J18, I think this is a new connector. I see somebody put some initials right there. And I wonder if that connector is not like, say, this style connector or this style connector. And that connector is actually too wide. And where the J18 pins are, I think you can just see one of the little reflection, maybe, if it zooms right. Or one of the pin headers used to be. And if I can get underneath and look, I don't think I have enough light. We can actually see where those three G18, yeah, you can see them, the three uh, pins are. So at first I was thinking there's these little test connection spots right next to that BT chip there. But I've noticed, oh, it looks like maybe that connector's been changed. So that's pretty much what happens here. Um, this is the board in a little better detail. So this must be the NVRAM chip. Maybe there's an issue there. This looks like the oscillators. And like there's the CPU. So there's Areas here I could look at probing in more detail. Um, looks like though I'm guessing all the capacitors have been changed, but I'm not 100 sure. And it, I think it'd be a good idea to go through and re replace them with high quality tantalum. Um, or if there's even a higher quality option than those. Uh, other than that, I'll go ahead and 